Hello and welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of Industry News. This is a segment of my channel where I discuss things like today, a recall, and then uh, safety issues or anything happening with this company buying that company. So if that's the type of information you'd like to hear about and like to be kept abreast of, please like and subscribe. Please hit that notification bell. Okay, let's get into the topic of today. So QBP, short for Quality Bicycle Products, is my largest distributor. Um, I believe they're the largest distributor in the U.S. And they have four warehouses and their headquarters is in Minnesota. And they have some house brands and their house brands offer you a very good value. If you're from the U.S. and you know that there's NyQuil, but next to it is the CVS brand of that same formula you know you're going to get it for two to three dollars cheaper so or 20 to 30 percent cheaper if, if you want to speak in percentages so in this case whiskey handlebars and uh, whiskey bar tape uh, not, not bar tape um rim rim tape for um tubeless setups which this is it right here and I love this kind of tape because it's a little bit thinner, but the, the adhesive is really good when you're trying to put it onto a rim. Whereas, you know, the, the industry standard or benchmark, the stands, it's thicker and the adhesive isn't very good. So anyway, and someone mentioned in a previous video about that they're here just for the side notes. And the comment, my response to them was, yeah, the, the side notes are some of the excellent little nuggets and most valuable nuggets that you sometimes get from my channel, my videos. So even though the topic is about a recall, here you just got a quick little tip on whiskey rim, rim tape for tubeless setups being a lot better. And they make valves and they make other things. But in this case, they've got a handlebar. Um... And it didn't say, yes, it did. Sorry. It did say what type of handlebar. So there are 8,740 carbon handlebars that they're recalling. And then another 350 uh, that are in Canada. And what, they, what they're saying is they are prone or have broken where the shifter attaches to the handlebar. So if you're not aware and you haven't done your own work, there is a metal clamp that is on the back side of a shifter like that. And that clamp, if it's, you know, tightened too much, can cause a stress riser on the bar. This is in general. This is just a general maintenance practice, um, best practices, if you will. So on a personal level, I don't tighten these all that much because... I expect people to crash, especially if it's a gravel bike. And so when you crash, I I want that shifter to move and not cut into the carbon handlebar. That's just something I do. It's tight enough that it's not going to move while you're riding under general use and general torque. But when you crash, it'll turn and it won't cause a stress riser on the handlebar. So that's just something I do. But in this case, they have 37 reports of handlebars cracking, but no injuries. So thank goodness, no injuries. But here are the bikes that are affected and the handlebars that are affected. The recall involves the Salsa Cow Chipper, the Salsa Cowbell, the Whiskey Number no. 912 F, and that refers to the amount of flare at the bottom so 12 degrees of flare and the whiskey number 9 24f f 24 degrees of flare carbon handlebar so in other words this is a very gravel specific if you will handlebar that people use right it says the model name is printed on the bar and these are the bikes that are affected, the Salsa Cutthroat, the Warbird, and the War Road bikes. Now, those, those three are very, very popular bikes in the Salsa lineup. The 
um, Warbird and the War Road and, and also the Cut. I mean, these are three very, very popular bikes in the gravel uh, lineup from Salsa. So if you own any of these bikes, now here are the dates. The dates are from January 2018 to August of 2022. Uh, so these handlebars were sold separately and also on these bikes between those. I mean, that's nearly four years or, you know, uh, three and a half years, January 2018 to uh, August of 2022. So it, it, it's going to it's going to cover a wide breadth of people who probably have these handlebars so or these bikes. Um, if you've got aluminum bars, well, guess what? You don't have to worry about it, right? So, you know, the Retro Grouch. The Retro Grouch is always here to tell you, carbon is going to fail. It's going to fail. It's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Carbon wheels, carbon seat posts, carbon handlebars, carbon stems, carbon saddles. If it's carbon, it's going to fail, okay? So this is just another one of those times where the retro grouch is giving advice, which almost seems like, you know, a self-fulfilling prophecy maybe, but if it's a carbon component on your bike, wheels, it's going to fail, okay? Aluminum doesn't fail as much as a handlebar. So you're saving, what, 40, 50 grams to go from the aluminum version of the same handlebar to the carbon version of that handlebar. Uh, maybe 40, 50 grams. It's nothing. So I don't know. Think about it next time you're trying to spec your bike with carbon this, carbon this, carbon this. And think about the retro grouch telling you, if it's carbon, it is going to fail. You may not be the one who has a failure, but your riding mate may. And, you know, you might all pile up <laughs> in, 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 on some road race or crit or who knows what. Um, so anyway, let's get back. To, <laughs> let's get let's let's be back to the seriousness. If you think you have one of these bikes and the very first thing to do is look at your handlebar. It should be printed. You know, most handlebars have... Most handlebars will have it, will have what they are printed right on where the bar um, clamps. Some might be, you know, a little bit black on black and subdued, a little stealth. Or, you know, but you you should be able to see it. If you have to, unwrap your bar tape. Get underneath there. You hear all those aluminum handlebars? <laughs> um, and if not, also call the phone number that I'm going to list down below. So 800-346-3340. And then say to them, hey, I saw this video on YouTube about the handlebars that I mentioned. And I will... Uh, put that also in the description and the bikes and then i'll also link the um, cpsc recall notice as well okay thank you so much for tuning in i appreciate your time and your attention i appreciate you <laughs> allowing for my multiple personalities and please like and subscribe we'll see you up the road